everybody, Matt Bell with the Electric Violin Shop, part of the From Classical to Radical series where we're teaching classical violinists how to move into the world of electric music. Today we're going to learn how to properly roll a cable. This is a skill that is really, really necessary, but it's not nearly as ubiquitous in the uh, professional music scene as it should be. Your cable is your lifeline. It's the thing that transmits the art that you're making with your instrument to the amplifiers where it can be broadcast to the world. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and in 99% of rigs, the weakest link is a cable. I mean, I've seen $100,000 shows brought to their knees by a $30 cable. So if you properly roll your cables, they're going to last longer. They're not going to get as tangled up with other cables in a case when you're transporting them, and they're not going to get that dreaded pigtail kink roll thing that just makes them really impossible to deal with. We're going to teach the over-under method of how to roll a cable. These are all right-handed instructions, so if you're left-handed, you've been down this road before, you just reverse everything I say, right? So you're going to grab the cable with your left hand, the end of the cable with your left hand. You're going to run your right hand down about yay far, and you're going to roll this cable up into your hand. You're going to sort of twist your fingers a little bit um, in a counterclockwise way as I'm looking down this cable. It's going to twist counterclockwise just maybe a quarter turn as I come and I place this into my left hand. And I'll secure that loose end with my thumb, right? So that's the easy part. That's the over. The under part is I run my, my right hand down just as far, same distance, and this time, watch my, uh, my right hand actually rolls underneath, my palm comes up toward me as I'm gripping that, and it lays in my hand like so. You're actually going to get a little X here as you're rolling the cable in there. And now you've put a, a right hand kink into that, or a right hand turn, and then a left hand. So over, under forward twist and a reverse twist. Forward twist, reverse twist. It's going to take some practice. This is not something you're just going to get on the first try. There is really no debate in the, uh, in the professional sound community about how to roll a cable properly. The un over under method is almost universally accepted. There are three different ways to sort of terminate the way that you've rolled that cable. A lot of sound guys will, will uh, actually tie a string to the end of every cable and when you get finished with the roll, you just take that string, loop it around and tie it. Some guys like the Velcro method. There's a little Velcro thing that attaches here and you can figure out how to work Velcro. Okay, the third method, which really isn't the best, but it, it is faster and easier, is the overhand knot method. So once you've got this cable done, you take and, and loop across like this, push the end through, and just tie it. So you end up with a little tie there. And you know, you don't need to yank on it or anything. You are going to put a little bit of a kink in your cable from doing this. But that cable will lay flat, it'll lay inside a case, it won't tangle itself with other cables. And when you're getting ready to unfurl this cable on stage, you just you take this whole roll, you hold the end you want, and you just throw it. And it goes out flat. And it's going to land on your stage flat. And it's going to be ready to use. So it's going to make it a whole lot easier when you're setting up at the next show if you roll your cables properly at the end of this show. You're not going to have this rat's nest of, of cables that all has to be dealt with. You know, you're going to open the box where your cables are and you just start pulling them out one at a time. They're still going to be in there wrapped and cold and ready to go. That's how we tie cables. Thank you guys for watching. Please click the subscribe button so you can be notified every time we come up with a new video. Be sure to put any questions you've got in the comments section and we'll try to address those in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you next time.